Hello, hello, my Max Potential Habits family, my NFA tribe. I'm psyched you're here because today we're going to talk about a money myth that you must drop to build your wealth. I get these questions all the time about what are the biggest misbeliefs, misconceptions, superstitious beliefs, fears, doubts, worries, money blocks that people have and what holds them back from building their wealth. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. If it's your first time here, I'm Dr. Amanda Barrientes. I'm the founder of NFA Coaching, the host of Max Potential Habits. This is your place to get tips, tools, and hear inspirational interviews to help you optimize your habits so you can thrive in life and business. And there's some big changes coming in 2021. If you haven't noticed, I'm sure you have if you're a regular listener, I've been releasing a whole bunch of interviews straight in a row because in 2021, we're not doing interviews anymore. We're actually shifting to all solo casts and we're gonna do shorter bursts to have you be able to listen a couple times a week just to me dropping nuggets and wisdom and inspiration and tools and strategies for you to wildly thrive in 2021. You all know how much I love to teach and train and that I could just go on and on and on about everything I'm learning because I love to learn. It's my number one highest value and teaching and learning are my biggest zone of genius activities. So that's what I wanna bring to you every week. And instead, we're gonna start doing live interviews on YouTube, LinkedIn. I got LinkedIn access to lives, which I'm really excited about, and Facebook. So I'll be letting you know what time to be plugging into those if you wanna watch. And of course, they'll be recorded and saved there too but they won't be being released on the podcast anymore. So we're making some big pivots for 2021, just shifting and changing and mixing things up. So today, let's drop into money myths. Uh, You all know that I went from food stamps to six figures, and one of the ways that I did that was by shifting my money beliefs and getting out of victim mindset and severe poverty consciousness. And one of those money beliefs that I have found comes up for people time and time and time again, over and over, is that it's virtuous to be poor. What do I mean by that? It means you think people have to suffer if you're going to be rich. It means that other people, that you have to suffer if you're rich. Like somehow I'll be a greedy jerk because rich people are bad because the love of money is the root of all evil. And I want you to really hear when I say that the love of money is the root of all evil. Yeah, if you spend all day every day and all you care about is money and that's all that's on your mind and you're taking advantage of people and taking people for granted and your relationships are falling apart and and you're being a narcissistic jerk, sure, that isn't a great thing. Duh, <laughs> but there's this really common misperception and myth that if that somehow it's virtuous to be poor, like it's more spiritual to be poor, or that if you're, you know, it's righteous to be poor. And I, I want you to really dig into this one and question yourself and see if it's there for you. I've met people across the board who make barely any money all the way up, or maybe even make no money, don't have jobs, people who are incarcerated all the way up to multi, multi millionaires. I don't believe I've worked with a billionaire yet, but multi millionaires, absolutely. And many of these people have this belief. And so I want you to start questioning within yourself, what are my money beliefs? What myths am I buying into? Because we all have access to creating great wealth in our lives and building our wealth. And if we're thinking that we have to be poor to get into the gates of heaven, whatever that means to you, or to live a meaningful life, it's better and more spiritual to have less, you're living in a poverty consciousness state. I want you to think for a minute, you know, if you have kids or don't have kids, but could pretend that you have kids, let's say, would you want them to live an impoverished life and would that somehow make them better? Would you want them to struggle and suffer and be in survival mode? No, you would want them to do exactly what they love doing, make a huge impact in the world and make a ton of money doing it. I always like to say, I want you to ask yourself the question, how can I do what I love and make buckets of money doing it, right? 
And usually, especially if you're following me, you all know that I have a service-oriented heart. I love people. I love helping people transform. If that's you, you're going to be in a similar state where you're going to want to be showing up, serving the world through the gifts that you have, stepping into your zone of genius, accessing what you love to do, and making a huge impact and a huge amount of money doing that. Whatever a huge amount of money means to you, what it really means is not being stuck in survival mode because if you think of about poverty as almost a disease, it causes you to suffer, to struggle, to not get health care you need, to not take care of people in your life, to not be generous, to be in fear all the time. Those are really toxic, low energy things that are going on. Guilt and shame around money. If you think that it's virtuous to be poor, then you have guilt and you have guilt and shame around money. Let's say that you have been given a lot of money in your life and you have guilt and shame around that, you're going to repel it away from you because you think it's better to be poor somehow in your unconscious belief system. Most people wouldn't consciously say like, oh, I think it's better to be poor, but some people do. If, if you're that person, then I really want you to dig here and look at how can I start to plug into the idea that it's absolutely high spirituality awesomeness to build my wealth so that I can serve more people. The more money you have, the larger impact you get to make because you're not stuck in poverty consciousness and, abund and, and poverty mindset, you're gonna step into abundance mindset. So in abundance mindset, you're gonna be asking yourself, how can I make more money to serve at a greater level? Okay, I want you to think about that. How can I make more money to serve at a greater level? And you start by being generous with what you already have. That could be generous generosity with your time, your energy, your gifts, and then you're gonna charge for what you're worth. I, I, I think a, create, a course I wanna create in 2021 is how to charge what you're worth because I know a lot of people struggle with this. And when people struggle with this, I know that they have the underlying belief that it's better to be poor or it's better to give than to receive. It's not bad to, to give. And, and then receive, but you wanna be an equivalent exchange. If you give away of yourself all your time and your energy and your money, and you're stuck in survival mode and you're diminished and depleted, then how are you ever going to live the life you need to live? How are you gonna bring your gifts to the world? It takes money to invest in yourself, invest in your business, take care of your health, take care of your family, take care of your needs. And that flows in this wave of giving and receiving. So it's not that it's better to give than receive, and it's not better to receive than to give. It's an equivalent exchange. So I want you to think about being in an equivalent exchange and knowing that the universe wants you to be abundantly rich doing exactly what you love. You were born to do exactly what you love. I believe every single person on this planet has an inner genius that's waiting to come out and really thrive by sharing their gifts with the world. And if you're listening to this or watching this, you have that opportunity. If you're not there, that's okay work to get there. Start to open up your mind to the possibility that your money beliefs have been holding you back and that you have some fear around really shining your light in the world and getting paid really well to do that. If, if these are stuck places for you, this episode's going out right before my manifestation workshop, you need to be there. So it's NFA manifestation workshop. We're gonna talk about, about a lot of these things, getting aligned with your zone of genius so you can manifest what you want in your life and business through uni learning universal principles. And that universal principle of cause and effect is like, okay, if you're having thoughts of poverty consciousness, the effect is gonna be more poverty. I want you to shift to a, a, an abundance mindset, a wealth building mindset where you start to see your savings, your earnings, your investments growing while you're giving more back to the world. That's absolutely possible. So your takeaway today is that I want you to live in a space of knowing that as you expand in abundance, the people around you get to expand in abundance. And that's in money, in time, in energy, in love, in success. That's abundance mindset. That's a wealth building mindset. So drop the myth that it's virtuous to be poor and I want you to just live this beautiful, amazing life where you're laying the foundation right now to have 2021 be the most powerful wealth building year for you of all time. Woo woo, high fives. <laughs> I almost did it, just did a wild dance for you, but if you're listening, you can't see me. <laughs> all right, so great to have you here. I can't wait to see you again next week. I'm giving you NFA high fives. I'm gonna end with my one of my favorite mantras is, I love money, lo money loves me, I'm a money magnet, everything I touch turns to gold. Oh yeah.